This, my friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ears. The standard model of quark theory, chromodynamics, they call it. There's color to these charm, strange, up, down, top, bottom quarks. The color is just a name that they give, flavor. There's all kinds of different names. I wish they'd have stuck with truth and beauty for the top and bottom. Remember before they really proved them and found them? I don't know who got a hold of the naming scheme, but they sure took all the beauty out of it. Now I wonder if they're telling us the truth. So the top, bottom, if you see a bar above it, this means it's the antiparticle, B bar. B bar, that's an antibar. The B, kind of hidden here. And again, see my color coding. B red, that's the plus two thirds. Green for the real matter bottom quark, minus, this is the one that has the wrong numbers. Has it got the one third? I said two thirds. The reason I do that, I'm so used, because what we're going to focus on here is what's called the first generation of particles, okay? That's when the up is red. So if it's matter, up plus two thirds. So when the antiparticle of a, down, of a bottom, it's the one third. So it becomes, instead of a negative one third, it's a positive one third. But I'm so used to whenever I see red, I'm thinking the plus two thirds. Because as you see, these over here, the top, the charm, and the first of these generations are positive, plus two thirds. So I noticed on one of the tables I did, I had all the antiparticles with plus two thirds, when it should be plus one third. The green, these are now the minus two thirds, whereas over here, they're minus one third. So, Higher energy, as we said, and when the Big Bang was in a smaller volume, tighter space, higher energy, higher temperature, bigger quarks existed in the form of tops and bottoms. The electromagnetic force carrier and the weak nuclear force, as we saw with the neutrino, with the electron antineutrino pair, in place of the electron was the tau particle, many, 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 many times bigger than an electron. Earth, the universe expanded, cooled a little bit. Now the charm, strange, positive and negative quarks. Force carrier is a muon. We can still find muons. We can capture muons in a magnetic bottle and do the spectroscopy on them if you're our Secretary of Energy, Steve Chu. Way to go, Steve. Everybody's amazed at that accomplishment. So Steve now is a Nobel physicist. He was our Secretary of Energy. He was able to capture the muons and the anti-muons, matter and antimatter, capture them in a magnetic field, do the spectroscopy on them. Pretty amazing stuff. As the universe expanded more, cooled more, till we are today and a little bit in the f past because when the up and the down and the electron were able to mass accumulate, we now have matter as we know it. Let me move this up. Keep it there. So when we're looking at our protons and neutrons, when we're looking at our protons and neutrons, this is where they come from. The up quark with a positive two thirds. Another up quark, positive two thirds, that's four thirds, one and a third. And then you had a down with a minus third. Four thirds minus one third is three thirds. That's a positive one. That's the charge on the proton from the majority of the electromagnetic charge being on the up quark. Now, when you make a neutron, you've got a plus two thirds, one up quark. A down quark brings a negative third, so that's minus one third that's left. You bring another down quark, that's zero thirds electromagnetic charge. The neutron is zero. This is a great exercise to learn fractions and thirds. Two thirds, one third. Proton, positive one electromagnetic charge. Neutron, neutral. The electron, 
This is photons, color, light. For some reason, I'm going to tell you the truth. I don't understand it. I've said it before. You have an electron that has mass. You have its antiparticle. The positron has the same mass. When you bring them together, they both become massless. Pure energy, as Einstein says, well, it does look that way because they come together, annihilate, they call it. Gamma radiation, light, photons from the electron. So the electromagnetic force, color, light, all that you see is related to electromagnetism. 